right. Hey, everybody. Let me grab this guy. So today, we're going to talk about gear. Uh, one piece of gear in particular, and it's a piece of gear that I have wanted for a long, long time. Uh, actually, it's a piece of gear I've been interested in since the very first Predator movie in the 1980s. And that is a thermal camera. Now, I loved watching the thermal view from the Predator in the movies. And it's, uh, I've seen them used on other ghost hunting shows before. My light just went out. So I'm gonna go get a new light. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I have lights working now. You can tell by the shadow. Anyway, back to where I was. Thermal camera. Um, it's always been an interest. Always been something that I've wanted to play with. I've seen other investigators use it to, to quantify cold spots that they're seeing when they're investigating and possibly see where spirits are. Uh, the theory is that when you get cold spots, when you feel cold, that's a spirit touching you or in the area. So I've always, you know, you, you're at a place and you feel cold, but I've wanted a way to show that. So I got a small thermal camera and we're going to talk about it today. Let's go. So the camera I got uh, is actually, it attaches to your phone and it's, let's see if we focus in on that, it's that little, tiny little thing. And it goes onto your phone like so. So when it's on your phone, that's it. It's just a tiny little thing there. And I'll actually face it out because you can have it either way. So if I face it out, that's it. Just a small little addition onto the bottom of your phone. Now I want to make sure I get the, the information on this right. So it is an infrared P2 Pro. I believe it is the exact name. Let me just find my, my order history again. Yeah, so it is the Infrared P2 Pro Thermal Imager. It is a camera that attaches to your phone. You can record video through your phone, take photos through your phone. Um, other features, the picture in picture. Uh, there is a macro lens, so if you do work with electronics and things like that, that you want to have a close-up view of, you can get a separate macro lens. For me, I just got this. Uh, there was a much longer waiting period to get the macro lens, and it's honestly not something that I think I would use. Um, but the camera itself, if I remember correctly, and I can't seem to bring up my order history here for some reason, I think all in it was around $450. Tax in. I can't seem to find any more of them. Well, I guess it's a good thing I got it when I did then. Because I cannot find the exact one that I got right now. So yeah, it was all in taxes and everything, $450, which is a lot for such a small camera. It was 319 or no, that's a different camera. Okay. Yeah, for some reason, currently unavailable. Okay, so yeah, I cannot get one right now on Amazon, but I would watch for it. It is a solid, solid little camera. Uh, and throughout the span of this video, I will be showing you some clips uh, that I have captured with this small camera. Uh, for the people who like specs, let us bring up the specs. Okay. Specs on the Infrared P2 Pro, uh, it will display from minus 4 Fahrenheit to 1,112 Fahrenheit. So you'll get that range. Now, it's when you're viewing the screen, it's showing you the hot spot and the cold spot and showing a gradient, a uh, relative gradient uh, for those. Um, the resolution is 256 by 192. Uh, you can use and I, I think I have a video clip showing this. There are multiple different display modes that you can use while you are using this so that you can pick what you want. Um, I'll just go through them here as well. 
get the camera loaded up. And it's as simple as you plug the, um, the camera itself into your lightning port. There is an Android version that has a USB-C connector. Uh, so if you bring up the palette view, there are multiple palettes you can use. So everything from white hot. So looking at my camera right now, and let's actually, let's do video so that we can have it here while we're talking about it. So recording. So you can do white hot, or looking at my camera, you can see that my camera's obviously hot. The black hot view, and we flip to what is called rainbow. And again, you can see that there's a hot spot on my camera there. Uh, the center of the frame, you know, see, I'll move it around a little bit, shows you the temperature at that spot. So you've got the hottest spot, the coldest spot, and then the center. So if I put my center on anything, we get that. And we've got iron red, this one is called. We've got aurora. My personal favorite, being a Predator fan from the 80s, is the jungle view. So it just gives that kind of look. And we've got golden red. This one is called medical probably my least favorite personally. We have the dim light, gold, red hot, so all your hot spots will come out red, and then Sita. Now this one looks a lot like military. You can see my lights there. The one light that's out is actually hotter, probably because the battery was hot. Now I'm just sitting in the boardroom of my office. So you can capture photo, you can capture video. Uh, it is a tool I am using more and more. It comes with this neat little pouch. And uh, yeah, I'm experimenting with it. But so far, uh, for the price, it is a fantastic thermal imager. Uh, when you get it, there's a free app you can download that you use with it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And yeah, it just, it works right out of the box. Uh, I didn't have to do any crazy setup, anything like that. I just took it out, walked around in the woods with it, got some deer. Uh, I've used it on one investigation so far. No, but I will be using it on more, and it will just add uh, another way to use my phone. So yeah, the Infrared P2 Pro. Uh, would I recommend, if you're looking for a small solution to a thermal camera, I would highly recommend. It does run off your phone battery, so they advertise you know, roughly eight hours off a fully charged current gen iPhone. Uh, I haven't used it that long in any situation yet, so I can't attest to whether that is an accurate number or not. But you don't have to charge it separately, it's just going to use your phone's battery. So that's, that's good in a way, bad in a way, because you're draining your phone, but if you forget to charge it, well, you don't have to worry about that, because it's always going to have power. <clears throat> Let me see, what else? Um, that is about it, I think. Super lightweight. Like I said, absolutely tiny. Comes in this little slightly padded pouch. Uh, I do wish it had a hard case to go in, just because it would be easier to keep in my bag constantly if it had a nice hard case to go in. So I do wish it had that. But it feels solid. Uh, feels really, really solid. Nice. It's got, like, it's lightweight, but it's got a solid feel to it. I don't know. It's just, it's quality. And there are other competitors, and I looked at other competitors, but to my mind, for the money, this was the one to go with. There you have it. The Infrared Pro, P2 Pro. Um, uh, one thing I did forget to, to go into is if you are doing some serious thermal imaging, there are there is a pro mode with this camera and it allows you to set 
points. Uh, so if you want to, say, draw a line and compare temperature across a line, or if you want to map out certain points, that the pro mode will allow you to do that. It will also allow you to set a range. So you're only going to show temperatures within that range. Uh, it's a lot of tools, none that I will personally use for what I am using this device for. But say you were doing home inspections, things like that, and you wanted to see, or even for yourself, if you want to see where your house is losing heat in the winter, where, where cold spots are in the winter inside, this will let you do that. And spending the $450 on it might actually save you an energy cost. So it's, from that point of view, on top of being an investigative tool for me, uh, it's just something that I could potentially offer to people uh, and may offer it. But yeah, oh yeah, and you can do vertical and horizontal. It automatically flips between the two. So super simple. Great device. Can't wait to use it more. I uh, would highly recommend if you're in the market for one. I know it's, it's pricey, but other solutions are more pricey and it is legitimately thermal. So there are a lot of apps that say they're thermal, but you're not getting thermal out of this camera. So that's it. Uh, please, if you like these quick little gear reviews, if you like the investigative content, and if you just want to keep things truthful and honest, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you know the videos are going live Sunday nights at 8 o'clock. And as always, let's find something.